Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a pecan pie. This is a wonderful combination of buttery crisp pastry and a filling that is sweet and gooey and just full of toasted pecans. Now, to start, we're going to uh, do the pie crust. Now, there is a recipe as well as a video on the site, and it shows how to make the uh, pie crust as well as how to roll it out and put it into your um, pie pan. Now, once you've uh, done that, you can trim the edges, or if you want, you, if there's overlapping pastry, you can just tuck that under itself if you want like a really thick crust on the outside. And then, you can crimp the edges in a variety of ways. You could just use a fork or what I like to do is I take fingers like this and then just with my thumb, I just push in the pastry like so. And it gives a nice decorative outside uh, crust. So what we're gonna do now is just cover this with some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge to chill while, and then we'll start the filling. So now we'll make our pecan filling. You will need a medium sized saucepan. The first thing is one cup, that's about 210 grams of dark brown sugar. And a quarter of a cup, that's four tablespoons, about 57 grams of um, butter. And I like to cut it into small pieces so it melts easy. One tablespoon of either a rum or a bourbon. Now, if you don't want to use alcohol, just leave that out. And then you could add like one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And then the last uh, ingredient we need is two thirds of a cup, which is 160 uh, milliliters. I'm using golden syrup. And that's a sugar cane syrup. It has a, it's a beautiful amber color and it's really thick and it has a delicate sweet flavor. Now I know a lot of recipes use uh, like a dark corn syrup, but the difference between a dark, using a dark corn syrup and the golden syrup is this is, makes the pecan pie sweet, but not like coyingly sweet. Now, um, I find the golden syrup at my local grocery store. Specialty uh, stores, you can also find it, or even online. But if you don't want to use that, what you can do is just use either two-thirds of a cup of a dark uh, corn syrup, or you could use a third of a cup of corn syrup and a third of a cup of molasses. So if you can't find the golden syrup, don't feel you can't make this recipe. But I, I would encourage you to, if you can find golden syrup, to give this a try. So then we're going to put this over medium, medium high heat and bring it just to a boil and stir it fairly often. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to, um, some recipes just call for you to stir all the ingredients together and add the pecans and put it in your pie shell. But when you uh, heat the ingredients just to boiling like this, what it does is make your uh, pecan pie more dense. Um, now, if you would prefer a thinner filling for your pecan pie, then just leave out the heating of the ingredients. But I really like um, the texture of a pie when you um, heat the ingredients like this. So I'm just gonna stir it just until it boils. Okay, our filling is now boiling, so just remove from the heat. And then what we're gonna do now is just let this cool to lukewarm, and then we will add the rest of the filling ingredients. So now we'll finish off our pecan filling, but first preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius. And if you have, uh, if your heating element is on the bottom of the oven, then have your oven rack in the bottom third. 
And then we will need um, between one and a half and two cups of uh, pecans, which is about 150, 200 grams. And I like to toast my pecans first. So put that in the oven for on a baking sheet for about eight to 10 minutes or until the uh, pecans are brown and you can start to smell the nuts. And then let them cool completely and then coarsely chop as I have done here. And then what we're going to do is just um, put all those chopped pecans in the bottom of our uh, pastry shell here. As you can see, if you like a um, pecan pie that's really thick with the nuts, then use two cups. If you want like a little less, then just use the one and a half. Okay. And then for the filling, the, it is now cooled to lukewarm. And then what we need in a, just in a separate bowl, have three large eggs and have those at room temperature. And then just break them up, whisk them up, or with a, I'm using a wire whisk here. You could just use a fork. The reason we wanted this to cool because we're going to add eggs and we don't want the eggs to cook in a hot liquid. So we just let that cool a little. And then what you want to do, I like to use a wire whisk, is put this on a cloth so my bowl doesn't move around. We want to add the eggs gradually into the, um, into the filling, whisking all the time. And that way you're tempering it just in case the, the filling is still a little warm. So we don't want those eggs to cook. So just whisk it in. You can see this filling is beautiful golden brown color. So I'll just whisk it all in there. Now, if you didn't use the rum and you wanted to use the vanilla extract, put it in now. And then I'm just adding just a pinch of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon, and a third of a cup of cream. It's about 80 milliliters. You can use either a heavy or a light cream, whatever you have in the house. Adds to the richness of the pecan pie. People say pecan or pecan, depending on, I think that's more a regional thing where you live. And then let's take your pie shell and we're just going to pour the filling evenly on top. Doesn't that look beautiful? This is uh, a very popular dessert for Thanksgiving in both the United States and Canada, along with the pumpkin pie. Okay. distribute those nuts and I have if you can see here I have a few whole pecans so what I'm going to do once the uh, have it in the oven and the filling starts to set I'm just going to take the pie out and I'm just going to put them in the center if you want to kind of do a decorative design or you could do it around the outside but just let the filling set a bit if I try to put it on now just sink right down so what we're going to do is bake this somewhere between 45 and 50 minutes. You want it set and you can take a toothpick and put it into the center and it will come out clean. Okay, our pecan pie is now done. As you can see, the filling is set. And I did after about, just after five minutes, I did put some uh, pecans on the top to kind of give it a decorative look. If you find that your outer crust is browning too much, then 
put on like a, a pie shield like this or just take a piece of aluminum foil and cover around the outside edges to prevent over browning. Now, let this cool completely before serving and you can cover and store it for a few days at room temperature. Very nice with uh, on its own or with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or some softly whipped cream. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Thank you.